Hey everyone, good evening. Hello, good evening everyone. Hello. How are you guys? How do you feel today? Is everybody nice today? Yes? Everybody yes. ready, prepared today? Yes. Yes, ready? <laughs> Excellent. That's great. No plans for the weekend? Don't you have plans for your weekend, Saturday and Working. Sunday? Working. Working. You're going to be working, okay? Those guys Sleeping. <laughs> You're going to sleep. That is a good plan. Yes. It's necessary to relax <laughs> and sleep, right? With your pajamas on the weekend. <laughs> that is good. Okay. Welcome, Gabriela. Rebecca, Vanessa, we have Nevi, welcome, Maria Emilia, welcome, Brian, Sandra Guadalupe, Sochil, we have Diego, and we Thank have you. Judy. Welcome to your class, guys. We're going to continue here. Remember that yesterday we saw about some colors, right? And also describing the clothes. Now, we'll continue here. Remember that we watched the video about it's a disaster but we didn't practice the conversation. Now, let's do it at this moment then. Let's see, we start here. It says, it's a disaster. We're going to read it here. We have Pat and we have Julie. They are the characters of this conversation. It says, great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this blue jeans, new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Ha, <laughs> they're mine. Sorry. Okay, now it's your turn to play with it. Sandra, let's start, please. Your pat. Great, our clothes are dry. The microphone, please. Activate the microphone. Thank you. Perdón, perdón. Okay, Great, you. our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Blouse, blouse. Blouse. Very blouse. good, thank you. Julie, continue, please. What color is that? What, what color it, is it? Very good, thank you. Kenya, continue. It's a white. It's, it's white. white. Very good, nice. Blanca, welcome. Here's a mm. light blue blouse. Hello. <laughs> Hello, good welcome night. to the class. Good evening, welcome. Here's a light, here's a light blue blouse. Blanca, let's repeat it, please. Here, eh, donde here. Julie, donde Aha, Julie. Right here, yes, right um, here. Yeah. Here's, here, here's, here's uh, a light blue blouse. Blouse. A blouse. Is it yo? Is it yours? Is it, is it is yours? yours? That's correct. Good one. Let me continue. No, it's saying not mine. Is it's it not. No, it's, it's not. not. It's, not, it's mine. not mine. Wait. White is my. Wait. Is wait. My... wait. 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 Uh -huh, good. Is it, it is? mine? It is mine. It is mine. It is a disaster. That's good. It's a disaster. That's all right. Good one. Kenya, continue. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, oh. All. 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 Uh -huh. all, all, all. Our clothes. All our clothes. All our clothes uh -huh. are like blue. That's correct. Thank you. Let's see. We'll continue with Rebecca. 
here's here's the problem here's the problem uh -huh. it's this new blue jeans we'll just push Who's jeans who's jeans who's Who's Jane? Who's Jane? Are they? That's correct. Good one. Aaron, continue. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. they are. They are like mine. This. Ha. 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 Yes, that's good. They are mine. Sorry. Gosh. Sorry. That's correct. Good one. Okay, we have that one. If you observe here, we have possessives. We have possessive, we have colors, we have mentioned colors. We also mentioned clothes, different accessories. And also we mentioned like WH words. Now we have here, we are going to practice now with the specific possessives. And the first one is possessive adjectives. Remember possessive adjectives? We have my, your, his, her depending on the subject that you want to express the possession. Now, but what is a possessive adjective? It says a word that tells us who or what on something. So basically is to refer the person that possess one thing. Now, in this one, it says personal pronouns. We have I, the possessive adjective to express possession is my. For you, your. For he, his. For she, her. For it, its. Remember that is it. We use it for one animal or one thing, one object. The possessive form will be its. For we, our. You, your. They, their. Okay, this will be the form. Now, we can check here some examples for my as possessive adjective. This is my sister. With your, wash your hands. His, this is his car. With her, this is her pencil. With it, its teeth are very sharp. With our, this is our house. With your, is that your wallet? With their, their house is near the city. Now, let's see here in the first example. Uh, Maria Emilia, can you read the first one, please? This is my sister. This is my sister. Excellent. What is the possessive adjective here? My. My, excellent. Now, in the case of sister, acá no lo identificamos como posesión porque no es una cosa, pero se le identifica como una relación. So it's relationship. So like this. Relationship. In the case of person, right? Like when you say my family, your sister, uh, also, you can say like uh, your father, your friend. So no possession, right? That is talking about a relationship. Ya que se mantiene una interacción, comunicación, relación con las personas. Incluso con, lo, con las mascotas, como el perrito, ¿verdad? Your dog, your cat. Pues en muchas ocasiones consideramos al perrito como parte de la familia o al gato. Entonces, pues, depende de cada quien quien lo, lo quiere ver como una posesión o como, o como una relación con la mascota. So, if you're talking about that or if you talk about possession, possession that is equals to a ownership. Ownership es lo mismo que posesión. De, son sinónimos. So, this one is equals to things, ya que poseemos cosas. So if you're referring to a thing, then it's possession or relationship, the one you have. Now, let's continue on the next one. Juan Alberto, welcome, Juan. Let's continue on the next example. Wash your hands.
Wash, wash your hands. Very good. What is the possessive adjective? Your. Yours. Your. Your. That's good. What is the possession? What is the possession? Hands. Hands. That's correct. Because we possess the part of the body, right? That's correct. Good one. Blanca, continue. This is his car. And this is his car. His car. Uh -huh. This his is his car. car. That's correct. This is okay. his car. That's correct. So, el carro es de él, ¿verdad? Suyo, de él. So, what is the possession? Tell me, what is the possession? His. Possession. Car. 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 That's good. And the possessive adjective? His. 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 That's good. Very nice. Good one. Let's continue with her. Rick, Rick. Yes, tell me. Entiendo yo que la posesión ahí se trata sobre los objetos. Exacto. Cuando es una posesión, es porque nos referimos a las cosas ¿verdad? que tenemos. Pero cuando mencionamos a una persona después del possessive adjective, como les mencionaba, ya no lo identificamos como una posesión, sino como una relación. Relación. Es una relación. Ahora, siempre llevan la misma posesión, right? As you have this one, you have the position is the same. La posesión es igual. My sister. Primero va a possessive adjective, luego relationship, relación. Acá, your hands. Una, me possessive adjective, possession. His car, possessive adjective, Bien, possession. Hair pencil, possessive adjective, possession. Siempre van juntitos, estos no se separan. Pueden ir, digamos, al inicio de la oración, en medio, al final, pero juntos. Si los movemos, los movemos juntos. Yes? Pero es para expresar posesión y no relación. Now, in the next example, we have Kenya, right? Kenya Vanessa, let's continue. We have, this is her pencil. This is her pencil. This is. This is her pencil. This is her pencil. That's all right. Good one. What is the possession? Pencil. Pencil. Excellent. And the possessive adjective? Hair. Hair. That is correct. Very good job. That's nice. Nevi, continue. Its teeth are very sharp. It is a... It's it... Are it's, very sharp. It's thick. Th things thick. 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 They are like dientes, right? It's thick. Th are very sharp. Are very sharp. That's correct. What is the possessive adjective? Sharp. It's it's possessive adjective. El adjetivo posesivo. It's right? it's perfect. And the possession? Sharp. Thick. Very thick. sharp. Porque son sus dientes. La posesión es los dientes. Acá nos referimos, pues, tiene que ser los dientes de un animal, right? Porque utilizamos el possessive adjective, it's. Tal vez son de un tiburón, it's. de un gato, it can be a tiger, right? It's teeth are very sharp. Very sharp, muy afilados. Very sharp. Miss. Yes, tell me. ¿Por qué ahí no tiene la apóstrofe it is? Good question. Because this one is a possessive adjective. It's not a contraction of the verb to be. When you have a contraction of the verb to be, it's like this. Let me write like this. De que cuando veamos así, que no tiene la apóstrofe es porque es un posesivo. Es un posesivo de una cosa o un animal. So it's like this. Si vemos que lleva un apóstrofe es porque es una contracción de it con el verb to be. Okay, it's teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, en el caso también de, de la de la del adjetivo posesivo, no siempre va a estar al principio o al final, puede ser, puede estar in, intercalado en la oración. Exacto. Por ejemplo, por a, acá podría ser el primer ejemplo. My sister is intelligent. <coughs> podría ir al inicio de la oración. Pero uh -huh. 
van juntos. Si los movemos, los movemos juntos. Pueden ir al inicio, pueden ir en medio o al final de la oración. En este caso, va al final. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Siempre van juntitos. Sí, porque en mi caso fue los dientes, fue al principio, ¿verdad? Exacto, that is correct. So, si vemos acá, van en diferentes posiciones. They have different positions. Okay. So its teeth are very sharp. Now let's see with our Adali said. Let's continue. This is our house. This is our house. That's correct. What is the possession or the ownership? House. House, right? Yeah, that's correct. What is the possessive adjective? Our. Our. That's all right. Good one. Okay. Now let's see in the case of your. Gabriela, is that your wallet? Is that your wallet? Good. What is the ownership? Ownership. Wallet. Remember that ownership is the possession. It's the same. They are still Wallet. Wallet, that's correct. Wallet is the ownership or the possession. What is the pos uh, possessive adjective? Your. Your. That's perfect. So you see, they are together. Van juntos. Se pueden, pero van juntos. Like your wallet. And this will be a question. Is that your wallet? Let's continue then. So chill. Now with the possessive adjective there. Their house is near the city. Their the house is the is near the city. Near the city, that's correct. What is the possessive adjective? They. They are excellent. And the ownership? Uh, house. House. No. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. remember that ownership is possession. So that is correct. It's house. Now, I remember this. This is a contraction. Este de acá es una contracción con el verb to be aunque se pronuncie igual, pero vamos a ver, eh, dependiendo de qué es lo que va después, es lo que me va a indicar. Por ejemplo, acá, it's still, still es una posesión. Y acá indica el verb to be. Por ejemplo, you can say, it's beautiful. Right? El complemento es diferente. Ya tiene otra estructura. Now, let's check other examples. Right, let's go ahead in here. Teacher. Yes. En el caso, bueno, ahorita porque lo estamos aprendiendo y estamos conociendo lo de las contracciones y de los, mm -hmm. y de los adjetivos posesivos, pero cuando se tiene una conversación, obviamente aquí lo estamos viendo, lo estamos viendo de forma escrita, pero eh, cuando se tiene una conversación con otra persona y nos y cómo, cómo nosotros identificamos el it's como, como contracción, Depen va a depender siempre a lo que nos estamos refiriendo. Exacto, es como, eh, como les mencionaba, dependiendo de qué palabra va después. Por ejemplo, si usted está hablando, por ejemplo, en la conversación, dice, ay, the, eh, your house eh, is beautiful. O sea, okay, your house is beautiful. It's color. Let's write it here. We're going to write the example here. Your house. You see, your house is beautiful. Now, here we have a possessive adjective, okay? Un adjetivo posesivo. What is the possessive adjective? Your. Your. your excellent. What is the ownership? House. 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 That's correct. Good. Now, here in the conversation, you say, your house is beautiful. Now, if you want to continue talking about the house, si usted quiere seguir hablando de la casa, puede ser así. Digamos que acá este contractado sigue hablando y describiendo la casa. Okay. It's very big. Hasta aquí, en esta oración, no lleva posesivo. Solo está describiendo en el segundo ejemplo. Ahí estamos, usando, ahí, estamos, ahí estamos usando el verbo to be. Exacto. Ajá. Now, the next one it will be It's color. Ajá, uh -huh. it's color is nice. Now you have a possessive. Look. Ya se refiere a algo de la casa. 
Perfect. In this one, you have your house is beautiful. La está describiendo okay. y también lleva un adjetivo posesivo que es your. Sí. Your uh -huh. house is beautiful. Now here, it's very big. Aquí seguimos hablando de la casa. Para evitar repetición, ya no es necesario decir, eh, your house is beautiful. Your house is very big. Eh, your house color is nice. Not necessary, right? It's not uh -huh. necessary at all. Now, you can say, it's very big. Its color is nice. Y aquí se me fue esa G, pero tiene que ser una E. It's letter S, okay? It's letter S. It's letter S. Let's write it. Let's do right. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. So we have is right. So like to put in clear, your house is beautiful. Beautiful. And we say it's very big. Very big. Then we continue describing. It's your, your house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. And here, now possessive. It's color. It's nice. It's nice. I'm talking for longer because I'm not describing them. Now, it's color. Now, you have here. Your house is beautiful. It's very big. It's muy grande. Its color is nice. Vemos acá la diferencia entre it's and it's. Correct. Es muy grande. Y acá su color es agradable. Mm -hmm. So, ahí, ahí vemos en la conversación, depende de cómo se ve, de que estamos hablando, si de una posesión o estamos describiéndola. Porque el verb to be mm -hmm. sirve para describir de cómo es algo, de cómo es alguien. Pero acá es el posesivo. Yes. El posesivo de la casa, ¿verdad, Miss? Exactly, that's perfect. Ajá, como acá ya no necesitamos mencionar de nuevo casa para decir hey, hey, the color of your house is nice no porque ya sabemos de qué estamos hablando qué estamos describiendo si su color el color de la casa es agradable ¿Cómo podemos incluir también el, el color en específico its color is pink its color is purple uh, it's green so all it depends on the conversation Eso depende de cómo vaya la, la conversación Así va a ser la estructura que ya. And we have other examples, right? Here we have others. Well, we have these ones. Now let's see this. Now, when you mention possession, it's because you have something. Porque sabemos que tenemos algo, poseemos algo. So si podemos decir, I have a shirt. My shirt is green. We, are, we possess something. Like this, you say, I have a shirt. My shirt is green. <laughs> Fernando, can, can you read this one, please? You say, I have a shirt. I have a shirt. My shirt is green. My shirt is green. Excellent. Thank you. Elmer Adilson, continue. I have a book. Elmer? Hello, Elmer. You have a book. Sí. Yes, can you repeat please? You have a book. You have a book. You have a book. You have a book. Good one. Your book is new. Your book is new. Thank you. Continue, Ada. He has a pillow. He has a pillow. Nice. His, His pillow. pillow. Yes. Continue, continue. <laughs> Continue. His pillow is soft. Excellent. That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Brian Renee. <coughs> she has a dog. She has a dog. Good. Her dog is small. Her dog is a small. Excellent. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. It has a bone. It has a bone. It's Good. bone is small. That's really nice. Thank you. Sochi, continue. We have a bird. We have a bird. 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 A bird. Good. Our bird is noisy. Our bird is noisy. Very good. What is noisy? 
Ridoso. Ridoso. That's good. Yes. And the birds are noisy. Yes. Let's go on. Let's see. Judy Edith. You have a house. You have a house. You have a house. You have a house. Nice. Your house is big. Your house is big. That's correct. Good. Okay. We have these ones. Now we're going to make a practice to remember possessive adjectives. Let's erase this. And let's work here. For example, this one. We are going to refer to the possession of every person. And we have Ben. This is Ben. This is, and the possession is ball. So what is the correct possessive adjective? His. His. This is my ball. His ball. His, his. Because it's the ball of Ben. Es la pelota de Ben. So it's, it's Ben's possession, right? Or ownership. Now let's see about Bill. This is Bill. This is, and the possession is iPad. What is the correct, Nevi? His. His. His, that's correct, yes. This is his iPad. Very good, Blanca, continue. This is Tom. What? Hey, Tom. We have this Tom. is... This is, um, siempre será his book. Yes, yes, because it's the same possession. This is his book. This correct. is his book. That's correct. Very good job. Okay. Nice. Let's continue, Juan. These children are playing. These uh, are we. It's the possession of plural. It's the possession our. of they. Our. They, our. they. No es they. nuestro. No son nuestro. They are. They are. They are. They are. Perfect. Yes. Look, because they the possession are. is for they. Son los juguetes de ellos. So they As. are. Yes, they, uh, these are their toys. Yeah, all right, one, that's nice. I don't continue. Now it's about the dogs. These dogs are playing. This is our ball. This is, is the possession of the dogs. They are. They are, that's correct, good one, yes. So no sería it's, ¿verdad? Porque it's es solo cuando nos referimos a un animal o una cosa. Y el they it, se refiere a más. plural. Ajá, dos o más, correcto. Okay. Aunque sean animales o cosas, siempre mi sujeto va a ser they o posesivo their, porque es plural. Ahora, si puede Sería this is their bow. Excelente, that's correct. Their bow. This is their bow. Oh. Great. Let's see the next one. Rebecca, this is a snowman. This is? It's. It's. Perfect. It's the possession of the snowman. That's all right. So it's a scarf. Yeah, good. Okay. I have other exercise. Let's check the next one. Next exercise. Now we have, they are twins. So the twins have names, right? Kenya, give us the answer, please. Is they are... Uh -huh. yes. They are twins. Son gemelos, ellos son gemelos. Their, ajá, porque son sus nombres, right? Their names are Tom and Philip. Maria Emilia, continue, please. Where's Carol? She is in? Room. What's the possessive adjective? Uh, hair. Hair, that's hair. correct, yes, because in the room of Carol. In her room. Her room. That's correct. Good one. Sandra Guadalupe, continue, please. It is my dog, and name is Barky. They. Sorry? Your. No. 
Uh, Aquí it? está hablando del perrito. Entonces es una tercera persona. Yes? What is the answer? It's. It's, right? Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. that's good. Yes. It can be it's. Puede ser it's. También puede ser his or her, ya que pues los animalitos también tienen género. Y si queremos especificar el género, también puede ser his or her. Pero de manera generalizada también se puede utilizar un it's. That is correct to use. Puede ser Entonces, it's her. Ajá. It's her name. Name. Her name. Oh, her her name. name. Her name it's or his name. name. Si usted quiere especificar uh -huh. eh, el género. El sex. Okay. Ajá, correct. Okay, let's continue. Go on the next one. Let's write this. All right, let's see other examples here. We finished with possessive adjectives, and we saw that the position is together. La posición que lleva es primero posesión adjective y luego posición o relación. Pero también tenemos otra forma de expresar un posesivo. For example, here. We also have possessive pronouns. También hay pronombres posesivos. This one will be they. Possessive pronoun also depend on the subject that you use. Siempre depende del sujeto que vamos a utilizar. So you have here, I, for I you say mine, like mío, 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 mío. For example, the shirt is mine. La camiseta o la camisa es mía. You see, it has a different position. For you, yours. The book is yours. El libro es tuyo. The book is yours. For he, we use him. En este no cambia, solo la posición en la que va a cambiar. The pillow is his. La almohada es suya, suya, pero de él. For she, we use hers. The dog is hers. Now, this is for she, right? For she. With it. Is it with it? Ajá. Y en la de his es como este, como tercera persona. Es tercera persona, pero es un posesivo de él. Es suyo de él. Ajá. Ajá. Porque Ajá. Eh, algo suyo de él tendría que ser hers. Ajá. Hers. Sí. Ajá. For it, we don't use it. En el caso de it, no utilizamos el, el possessive pronoun, pero podemos utilizar un possessive adjective, like el que mencionamos, como it's still, tus dientes. De manera informal, se utiliza el it's después de una posesión, pero gramaticalmente no es muy utilizado, no es muy formal. Let's see with we, we use ours. The birds is ours. For you, we use yours. The house is yours. Then we have they, theirs, the car is theirs. Now, we also have, we are going to repeat them. Let's start. Blanca, repeat the first example, please. The shirt is mine. The shirt is mine. Thank you. Aaron, continue, please. The book is yours. The book is yours. 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 Like with S. The book is yours. That's correct. Good one. Judy, continue, please. The pillow is his. Right one. Good. Juan Alberto, the dog is hers. The dog is hers. That's correct. Good one. Let's see. The bird is ours. Rebecca. The bird is ours. The bird is ours. All right. Fernando, the house is yours. The house is yours. 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 That's correct. Good one. Let's go ahead. Rafael, continue, please. The car is theirs. Cars. The car is theirs. The car is theirs. Excellent. That's correct. Theirs. 
Now we can also formulate questions. For example, this one that they are the yes, no question. Is this your jacket? Is this your jacket? Is this your jacket? And in the answer, you say, no, it's not mine. No, not me. No, it's not mine. <clears throat> in this case, you're using possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Now, let's see the next one. We are going to read the next one. Hey, Gabriela, read this one, please. Are this Carla's shoes? Are this Carla's shoes? Good. No, they aren't hers. No, they aren't hers. All right, thank you. Adalie said, are those dirty shirts? No, they are not. They no, are... they are not? No, no they, they are, are not. not. <laughs> okay, okay. No, okay. they are not their t-shirt, but these shoes are theirs. That's correct. Good. Look at here. <laughs> This is a combination. Aquí hay una combinación de possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Uh, now, uh, yes. <laughs> it's a tongue twister, yeah. <laughs> For example, here in the answer, no, they're not there. This there is possessive adjective or possessive pronoun. It's possessive adjective, right? Porque va yeah. junto. Yeah? Possessive adjective va antes de la posesión. En este caso es the shirts. Luego dice, but the shoes are theirs. Pero estos zapatos son de ellos. So that theirs is possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Possessive pronoun. Excellent, that's good. So possessive pronoun lo utilizamos para omitir repetición que ya no necesito decir, por ejemplo, acá. Is this your jacket? No, it's not my jacket. Ese jacket ya no es necesario repetirlo. Porque si pronoun me ayuda a omitir esta repetición. Now, let's continue here. Santa Margarita, whose skirt is this? The microphone. Activate, please. Thank Sorry. You. That's okay, thank you. Here is this. It's my skirt, it's mine. That's good. So hay dos formas, ¿verdad? De responderlo. Es mi falda. It's my skirt. O con un possessive pronoun. It's mine, es mi. Let's go ahead with the next one. Elmer, continue, please. Digo una pregunta. Digo una pregunta. Yes, tell me, tell me. Hello? Hello? No escucho la pregunta. Hello. Con ese gus, 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 gus. Ajá. Ese WH, como para qué lo vamos. Este lo utilizamos para preguntar de quién, de quién es algo. Como like, es la posesión. I'm sorry. De quién es la posesión. Que... Ajá, that's correct. Investigamos el dueño. Exacto. Uh -huh. Who's a skirt? Como las WH que mencionábamos, así como what, what time. Investigan algo en específico. En el caso de Who's, investiga el dueño de. Uh -huh. So, who's a skirt is this? ¿De quién es esta falda? Whose glasses are those? Juan, read the question, please. You're welcome. Juan, can you please read this one? Like, whose glasses are those? Entonces, teacher. Yes. Tell me. Este, estaba viendo el cuadro donde estaba a uh, WDH Question. No sé cómo es que se pronuncia. Mm, yes, no sé, question. question. Yes. Eh, entonces, yo, yo lo anoté que dice wow, que dice who's? quién. No sé si es wow. Ah, who's? but you mean who. Hay otro que who's? es muy parecido, que es este. Eh, y ese eh, solo se, se pone... Eh, por, por, por lo que usted dijo, que significa quién, quién, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ahí investiga quién, pero el sujeto, de quién realiza una acción. Ah, o de quién ah. es algo. ¿Quién es doctor? ¿Who is a doctor? ¿Who is your friend? La persona, Miss. Ah, exacto. Yo investigué the person, pero en este caso investiga el, el dueño. Like, ¿de, ah. quién es, ¿De quién es tal cosa? Es ah, más okay. específico. Aquí tú investiga ah, okay. quién, el sujeto de, de qué, quién hace okay. algo. O quién es algo, quién es doctor, quién es enfermera, quién es abogado, quién está feliz. 
Es como algo más, más así específico, como de quién es este lapicero, o sea. It's for possession. Ajá. Perfecto, solo para posesión, solo para posesivos. Y este de acá investiga el quién, o sea, el sujeto, investiga nada más sujeto. Okay. O sea, o sea, mis que en una, en una conversación podemos utilizar, así como esto que estamos usando, los possessive adjectives, los possessive eh, pronoun en, en la oración, no, en una conversación. ¿Tiche? Como que se le cayó la llamada. Ay, me asustó. <risa> Pero esperemos a que se conecte porque solo no, solo ella es la que falta, creo. Esta tiene problema con la máquina. Ah. No, no se escucha. Ok, dice. ¿Cuál era la pregunta, Sandrita? Yo se la voy a contestar. <risa> <risa> Eso. <risa> sí, es con problemas. ¿no? Ok, Nevi, usted va a, ser a, va a quedar a cargo del grupo ahorita. <risa> mi hija mi, mi va a estar a cargo. No se pasa en la lista. ¿A quién vamos a preguntar ahora? A Elmer, que no le hemos visto la cara. <risa> Nevi, usted va a pasar la lista. <risa> no, peste. Vamos a ver. O Aarón, él va a pasar la lista entonces. Ahorita, ahorita. Ya, ya ¿Está? entrando en el tema. Este, ya empezaron la, la sesión 4. Eso mismo iba a preguntar yo porque no sé si mandaron el no vieron el mensaje que mandaron. Esta semana lo tenemos que que enviar hasta, sí, no, hasta más no tarde entiendo, el, sí. el sábado. Sí, Avancemos con el 50% de la lección 5. Ajá, y ni siquiera no, hemos visto eso. Cuatro. Las Ajá. cuatro tiene lo que vamos, estamos viendo ahora, Ajá. porque se hizo una parte, pero la otra parte no la hice porque es lo de ahora. Uh -huh. Hay que consultarle a, 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 a la teacher, porque sí, yo también recibí esa, esa información. Y se lo tengo entendido, no, 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 o sea, todavía estamos terminando la, la sección 4. Entonces, y una, una pregunta, ya les confirmaron por los correos. 